Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, um, hello, thanks for clicking. Uh, if you do like what you see uh, in my videos, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you're feeling particularly fruity, go ahead and click on the little alarm bell next to the subscribe, which does let you know when new videos are uploaded to my channel. So this morning, um, I thought it would be a really good idea um, to do a get ready with me, but from a total get ready um, perspective. So I'm going to be showing you how um, I do my hair most of the time, um, the tools I've been using, um, and then obviously I'll go through the products that I use for my hair as well. Um, and then I thought it would be a really good idea just to do um, another sort of makeup routine. Again, just something very light and airy, um, a very natural look more than um, sort of like a glamorous going out look. Um, and yeah, I just thought we'd have a bit of fun with it. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is just explain to you what I've done uh, in terms of my hair already. Um, I have literally just got out of the shower, so I've washed my hair um, and obviously the rest of my body. Um, I use uh, different types of shower gels it really does depend on on the smell that I want for the day I think today I've used a Neutrogena uh, rain water or something like that one of the ones I've got in the bottom of the, the shower anyway um, but then from a hair perspective um, I have been using Olaplex for the best part of a year and a bit um, maybe just over a year um, and I use the um, I use the shampoo and I use our conditioner but I also use their um, treatment that you can get I mean the bottle is pretty I, I'll, I'm, I'll go and get it in a minute but they're, they're probably about that big um, and that one I use once a week um, just to help replace what I take out of my hair um, I do have to dry my hair more often than not using a hair dryer um, just because my hair is quite curly quite frizzy and with the humidity here in Singapore I cannot leave it just to air dry um, I do look a bit like an alpaca when I've done that so it's it's not a great look um, hence why I have to dry my hair more often than not um, um, so I am going to go and grab those little bottles, um, that, that bottle of Olaplex for the treatment, just to show you what it is. Um, and then we'll get started with the hair drying, okay? Right, let's go and have a look. So the treatment that I was talking to you about is this one here. Um, it's the Olaplex Hair Protector, and this one is the number three repairs and strengthens all hair types. Now, this one, I mean, the, the bottle, uh, how much do you get on this? This is 100 mils, so it's not a particularly big bottle, um, but to be honest, you don't need a lot of it. Um, and what I do is once a week when my hair is getting ready to be washed, um, I wash my hair more than once a week, just to make that very clear. Um, but I do just pop this on for a couple of hours. I either go to the gym with it on, um, sometimes I will sleep with it on, depending. I do find the smell a bit much for sleeping with it on. It, it really does depend. Um, but if I want a really good treatment um, and I want to leave it on for a decent amount of time, I sleep with it on. Um, but yeah, this just just put it in um, towel dried hair. I usually just dampen my hair down in the shower, um, not soaking wet, but just enough to get some moisture back in and then put this through the mid lens and ends, uh, put it into a ponytail or in a bun or something, pin it up um, so it's out of the way, and then I forget about it. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a really good hair treatment and you want something that's gonna replace what you're stripping out of your hair, particularly if you color it and blow dry it and straighten it and all that kind of thing, then this is this is really good stuff. I use the entire range, um, but I just think it's worthwhile mentioning um, that the treatment that you can do yourself at home is very, very good. Um, so yeah, if you're, I'll put the details in around the shampoo, the conditioner, the treatment. I also use the bonding oil when I'm drying my hair. Um, so I'll list out all the details in the description below okay all right okie dokie so let's get started with the hair um so as i said before um i've washed my hair just with my usual products um and i do leave it sort of wrapped up in the towel um just while i'm kind of sorting myself out as i said before you can see that my hair is actually um naturally quite it is curly but it's got a bit of a wave a curl and a frizz to it it's all over the place um it's just yeah it, it's one of those things that i've i've learned to accept as i get older that my hair um has a mind of its own um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop in um, my leave-in conditioner. Now this one is from, I don't know how you pronounce this, it, y Uwe, 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 that sounds, that sounds, we'll use that one, that sounds good. Um, so it's a Uwe hair care and it's the leave-in conditioner. Um, this one is a multitasking leave-in mist that works all day to smooth, soften and detangle. Now what I like about this is it's got quite a thick consistency to it. It's, it's not liquidy, um, it's not like, um, it's not like 100% liquid. It has got a little bit of um, consistency going on through it, which I quite like. Um, I love the smell. 
it's got a really nice, it's, it's quite a, not a pungent smell, but it's quite a strong smelling product. But I just think it's got a really nice, like, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know how to explain it. It's got a really nice herbal smell to it, but flowery at the same time. It's most peculiar. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this. I like the consistency, the smell. I love everything about it. The only thing I will say is you do not need a lot of it because it's quite thick. Um, I only tend to kind of give it a quick spritz um, just so that I can get a, a, a comb through my hair. So I'm just going to go in and spray on both sides and just through the back there. Um, but again, not not too much. Um, and you'll be able to feel it on your hands as well. It's got like a, quite a creamy consistency um, when it comes out of the bottle. Um, so next I'm going to do is just take my normal little paddle brush comb. Um, I don't brush my hair, so I'm not using a brush brush. This one at the teeth, how you can see I've used this so much. Um, it's a little Wella paddle brush, I think I got free at a hairdresser's. Um, but the teeth are actually quite far apart um, and they're different lengths as well. So you've got some really long ones and some really short ones. But what this does is it just helps to get rid of all the tangles in my hair. Um, and I always think you shouldn't be too, too rough with your hair. Just take it kind of easy. Don't, your hair is in its most vulnerable state when it's wet. Um, so it really is a case of just being as gentle as you can. Not kind of like going crazy with it, but just really, you know, take your time, work through the knots gently, um, and just kind of get it into a reasonable state where you can then either dry it or, you know, if you want to leave it to air dry, then at least you're not drawing knots into your hair. So that is basically me combing my hair through. So you'll see again, um, my hair dries very quickly as well. So you'll see the ends are going dry already. Um, and my roots tend to take obviously a bit longer, but my hair, yeah, you can see it's it's drying as we're talking. Okay, um, the next thing I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna go in with my Olaplex. Um, this one is the Bond Smoother. It's a leave-in reparative styling cream. Um, and again, you don't need too much of this. Um, I've had this for, I would probably say about nine months. I've had it for a very long time. Um, but what I do feel with this is again, you don't need a lot of it. The consistency is quite creamy. Um, it's quite a thick consistency when it comes out, you'll see. That's literally as much as I use. Um, that may actually be a bit too much, um, but that's it's good value for money because you just don't need a lot of it. Um, Olaplex is not the cheapest product on, on the market, um, granted, um, but it's one of those that because I'm blonde and um, I have my hair chemically treated, I, I heat style it and everything, I have found that this is one of the better products on the market for hair that needs, um, it, it, it needs attention. Um, so if you haven't tried it yet, um, even if you just want to try a couple of pieces out of the, the, the product range, um, this is definitely one to use um, if you want something to help just smooth your hair. Again, if you air dry it, I've used it before with air drying, um, in between sort of like gym sessions, I'll just put this on to help protect my hair. Um, but it does work very well with air drying as well. So yeah, if you want to give it a go, that's definitely another one to, to try out. Um, now, because I am blonde, um, the other thing that I find is in particular with my roots, they can tend to go a bit brassy over time. Um, you know, with the usage of the water um, and obviously all of the environmental factors, I do find that with blonde, you have to maintain the um, the tone by using sort of alternative products. So in the shower, when I wash my hair, I do mix a little bit of silver shampoo with my Olaplex shampoo, just to help tone down the brassiness all over. Um, and I usually leave my shampoo on while I'm, um, I don't know, wash my body or shaving or something like that. Then obviously I'll just leave it on, rinse it out when I'm about to step out the shower anyway. Um, but afterwards um with this product from olaplex i then go in and mix um a little bit of uh toning drops now this is a product that i found on sephora um and in all honesty i really really like this um it's from a company called iegk um and it's called mixed feeling leave-in blonde toning drops now this is literally um toner it is a toner that comes in um package like this and when you take the top off they are literally little drops that you can add into other products or you can put it on in, uh, on its own without mixing it with anything else so what I do is I take this and I literally put a few drops into um, the Olaplex 
please make sure that you use this sensibly. Um, I have put a bit too much in sometimes and it does make your hair go really gray. Um, so you need to be careful. The other thing is it does tend to stain a little bit. Um, so just make sure you use it somewhere where if you do drop anything, um, any of the products, then it's easily uh, wipeable um, and do it straight away. Um, so that's basically what I've got and I'm just going to mix it together in my hands. Your hands will go a lovely shade of purpley blue. Yeah. And then all I'm doing is just running it through the ends more than anywhere else. But then I just kind of massage it into my head as well. And in particular, just around that, that section where um, my parting is. And you'll see it basically comes off uh, your hands because it's now all in my hair. The only thing I will say, it, it does get caught under my nails, which is a little bit of a pain, um, but you can go and rinse that out. Okay, cool. All right, good stuff. Now what we're going to do, um, we're going to blow dry my hair and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I do a few sections of it just so you can see the technique that I use. Um, and then I will finish off my hair and then show you what it looks like at the end of it, okay? So um, in terms of uh, drying my hair, um, I do have the, uh, the Dyson hair dryer. Um, I actually got let me show you. Um, I've got this one. You've probably seen this um, online or if you go to any of the stores. Um, it's just the basic Dyson hair dryer. Um, I bought this, um, actually I got gifted this, uh, not last Christmas, the Christmas before. So for 2018, um, I got this gifted. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, in all honesty, I have the Dyson Airwrap as well. If you want me to do a video on the Airwrap, please leave a comment below um, and I will do a dedicated um, video all around the air wrap and how I use that. But um, I actually prefer the hairdryer. Um, it's just a personal thing. Um, I'm an ex-hairdresser. Um, I say ex-hairdresser, I'm a qualified hairdresser, um, but I don't practice anymore. Um, but for me, from a tooling standpoint, I really don't think you can go wrong with a Dyson air dryer. It has got a rather hefty price tag to it, um, so do bear that in mind. However, I have never had any problems with this hair dryer. Um, before I had the Dyson, I had one from GHD. Again, absolutely fantastic product. It was a lot heavier than this, I find. Um, and I'd had that for years as well with no problems. Um, I actually sold that one last year. I think it was last year, um, to somebody who was looking for a secondhand air dryer. I mean, in all honesty, if you picked up a Dyson secondhand, I don't think you'd really have any problems with it, maybe from a warranty standpoint. Um, but like I say, I've had this for two years and never had any problems. Um, so I'm gonna be using this. Um, I also use a very large bore bristle brush um, for my hair um, just to get the smoothness. Um, and I just find it easier to work with. Um, so I'm gonna show you, like I said before, a few sections, um, and then I'll show you what it looks like after I finish drying my hair off. Um, and then we'll move on to makeup before I then put the finishing touches on my hair. And I'll explain that one later. Okay. Okay. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rough dry my hair and get the majority of the moisture out. So it doesn't take quite so long to dry. Um, it also doesn't put as much stress on the hair, um, to just kind of get as much moisture out of it as possible before, um, getting the brush through it. So we're going to do that first. Um, so with the Dyson, um, if you have one of these already, um, I'm sure you know how it works, but if you don't, um, to switch it on, you just lift the little lever up. Okay, um, you've got your fan, so you can move it. I think there's three um, settings. There's three different levels for the fan. There's three different levels for the heat. Um, and then to do the cool shot, you just hit this button here. Okay, so um, I've got it on the hottest and the fastest, um, just, to, just to rough dry my hair off. Okay, so I think that's 
dry enough um, to just get the majority of the moisture out. As I said before, right, I'm, I'm one of those people that cannot <laughs> have their hair air dried. Um, it's just, it's, yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, it would be uh, a lot of hair. Um, it's a bit like a horse's mane, to be honest, um, which is why I tend to style it more often than not. Um, so the next thing that we're gonna put in, um, I'm going to go and grab it actually from the bathroom. I think I've left it in there. Um, I explained to you before I've got the Olaplex bonding oil. So I'm just going to put a few drops of that in on the ends um, just to seal the ends off to make sure that whilst I'm blow drying, um, it's protected from the heat uh, more than it would be without it. Um, so I'm just going to go and grab that little bottle and I'll show you what it looks like. We'll put a few drops of that in and then uh, I'll show you the, the sections um, just around the back, maybe a few around the front, and then I will finish it off um, and I'll show you the end result. Okay. But let me go and grab that bottle. So this is the little bonding oil um, from Olaplex. Again, I have had this for probably about six months. Um, I did, did I buy? No, I bought that separately. Um, so this one um, comes with just a little screw cap. Um, so when you're traveling, I do find that it doesn't tend to go everywhere. Um, I'll have to find that in a minute. Um, but all I do is I just put on a, a few little drops um, of the oil and just put it through my, my fingertips. And then I'm just gonna put that through the ends um, and then just through the front section, this section, just to help protect my hair further from the heat. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. All right, so what we're gonna do now is um, I'm going to section my hair. Um, the way that I do this, um, it, it's not difficult to be honest with you. What I tend to do is I will work from the, the, the nape of my neck, so the back here, I work um, from there all the way up to the, the top of my head. So what I tend to do is just take um, sections. Now, some people take a section here, which is fine, um, but I just find that even if I do that, I've still got too much hair to, to try and dry. Um, so I actually go from the bottom of my earlobes and take it around the back. So my section is not much bigger than that to start with, okay? And then I'm just gonna scoop all this hair up. I'm gonna get my little crocodile clip, oh, which is this one here. And just gonna pin my hair up so it's out of the way and then bring this section of hair forward. So you can see it's not a big section on either side, but it's pretty balanced. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is start blow drying. <clears throat> so the brush that I use is just a, um, it needs cleaning actually, um, but it is um, a big bore, bore bristle brush, that's a mouthful, um, and basically I find this is particularly good for, for smoothing out my hair as well as straightening it um, to some degree. Um, I don't like the other brushes that have got them really kind of like stiff bristles on them. Um, a, it hurts my head, um, you know, when you're kind of getting right to the root. Um, and I do find that my hair tends to frizz up a bit more with them. I don't know what it is. I've just always used this brush. I've had this for years as well. Um, and it's it's never, I've never had any problems with it. Um, so yeah, that's just what the brush I use. Um, so I'm gonna put my dryer back on. I'm gonna take my brush. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on this side. So using my little finger, I take the section, get the brush underneath, curl it maybe once or twice so you've got a good grip on there. Using your hair dryer, you're going into the hair and you're going down with it. You're not going against the hair, you're going down with the hair, okay? So, hair dryer on. Yeah, down with the hair. To the root. Taking that again, down, 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 yeah, got it, and then just bring it down the front, like that, you see the difference, yeah? So we're gonna do we're gonna so we're gonna do the other side now. But can you see the difference that that makes in terms of the drawing and and how smooth it is? Um, it, it's quite a big difference between them, right? So like I said, all you need to do is just make sure you get the brush right into the nape of your neck, twirl it around a couple of times just to get a good grip on the hair. Um, 
the nozzle of your hair dryer should always be pointing down the hair shaft. Do not have your dryer going against your hair shaft because all you're going to do is lift up the um, the shaft of the hair. So all of those little like your hair is a bit like um, it's like what I say slats. Like, no, they're slates. They're like little slates that sit on top of each other. It's a bit like a housing, um, a roof slate, right? So when you look at the roof, they're all kind of like layered on top of each other. Your hair is exactly the same. So when you are blowing the, the, the air up against the slates, you're going to lift the slates up, right? And that's going to start causing, you know, all of your tangles and the knots and everything else. And your hair is just not going to look as smooth and as sleek as you want it to. Um, so just make sure that the air is always going down um, your hair shaft, so down the slates um, to keep that smooth um, consistency going through your hair, okay? So we're going to do the same on this side. Um, and then I'll do a few round the front here. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes, okay? So we're gonna do this side now. Um, same concept, so you're going in, lift the hair up, put your hair onto the brush, twirl it a couple of times to get a good steady grip on it, and off we go. I'm just going to show you just make sure the roots are all dry at the back which they are see the difference how smooth that is see okay so let's move on to the next section um so i'm going to bring the next section down um then what i do is i start from just where my eyebrows kind of finish or my temples take another section around the back just like a halo um, you're just going right around the back in a straight line Move this up like this, pin this back so it's out of the way. Then I've got another section of hair that needs drying, okay? And I'm gonna just show you how I do the side bits here, um, and then I'll do the rest um, for you to, watch, to, to see at the end, okay? that dried so you'll see that I've gone around the back now as well so kind of like higher up here just near the um, the finishing part of my crown um, so trying to get the hair dryer around the back can sometimes be really frustrating um, it's all about just getting the right angle um, and obviously you know working your way from one side to the other and then whatever is left just kind of bringing it up at the back um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's not as, it's not an easy, um, 
it's not an easy thing to do. Um, it does take a lot of practice, but the more you practice, the easier it does get, I promise you. Um, but yeah, so you can see the big difference, right? And like I say, just having those really good products on your hair just helps to protect it as well. Um, all right, so I'm gonna leave you there for now. I'm gonna go ahead and dry off the rest of my hair. Um, then we will get started on the, um, the makeup routine. Um, and then I will show you how I finish off my hair um, with the straighteners um, and complete the look. Okay, right, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, so um, I've just finished drying my hair. Um, so it's pretty smooth. It's as smooth as I wanna get it without over overheating it at this moment in time. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I am just going to pop this up in uh, a little scrunchie, just so it's out of my face, um, because I'm going to start with the makeup. Um, so I'm not going to go blow by blow um, in terms of the products that I'm using. Um, I think a lot of them you have seen already at the moment, um, just in terms of my foundation um, in the other video um, that is on my channel, um, which was around the natural looking makeup routine. So if you haven't seen that video, please go and check it out. Um, if you want me to do something similar to that, maybe with a different type of look than I can do, but for today, um, I'm gonna be following a very similar routine. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is just prep and prime my skin. Um, again, I've used the same face wash, facial wash that I, um, I use every day, which is just a Neutrogena Deep Cleanse. Um, and then what I tend to do is I go in over the top with my Glow Tonic from Pixi. Um, just a few splashes of this on um, a cotton pad. Um, nothing spectacular. Um, but I literally just throw um, a little bit onto the pad. Um, again, this stuff lasts forever. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. I don't find it harsh on my skin. I don't find the smell particularly unpleasant. Um, it does have a rather, I would say like a acidic smell to it, but it's not stingy or anything on my face. Um, so yeah, I, I really like that. Um, so I'm just gonna go in oh, and just freshen my face up. Um, around the neck area as well. The neck is always very important, people, don't forget. Um, and then just around the nose. Um, I have got a few blemishes that have come up, um, unfortunately. Uh, it, it is that time of the month, um, so things like that do happen, ladies. Um, it's just one of those things that you deal with. Um, so that's that. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is just go in and spritz my face with a little um, facial spray. Um, this brand seems to be very controversial. People either love it or they hate it, and a lot of people tend to hate it. I, on the other fact, think that this is okay. Um, it does the job, it's nothing spectacular. I won't be buying it again. Um, I don't really see m a much of a change in my skin from using it, but I do like the smell, and it's just something that, um, it kind of calms me and it calms my face down. And I do, I do find slight changes in the redness. Um, but I, I mean, it, it's nothing, I don't think it was worth the, the price tag. So it's the Mario Badescu, Badescu, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, facial spray. And this is with aloe, calomile, cal calomile and lavender. Um, yeah, I mean, chamomile, chamomile, whatever. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I do quite like the smell of it. Um, you can see that I've I've nearly, I mean, I've, I've probably got what, maybe a quarter of the of the spray left. I, I just like the smell. If I'm, if I'm honest, I love the smell. So I'm just gonna give it a quick shake, close my eyes, pop that on. When you get to know me, you'll realize that lavender is one of my favorite smells. I absolutely love lavender. I just find it so calming, so relaxing, and it always reminds me of my mom's house. Um, my mom's a huge lavender fan as well. Um, and we are from the Jersey Channel Islands, which have lavender farms, um, which when you just go into those, they're, they're just fantastic. I think we've just all kind of like grown up with lavender. It's just a very unique smell that I love. Um, and yeah, I, I really do love it. Um, so this is my makeup bag. Um, this isn't everything. I do have a lot of different types of eyeshadow palettes and so on and so forth, but this is my kind of go-to. I pull this out whenever I'm, I'm putting my makeup on. Um, but basically today's look is gonna be more, um, as I said before, a natural look. Um, I'm not going out anywhere today. Um, I'm literally just gonna chill out at home. I had a very heavy night last night. Um, I can't get into the gym. Um, they've done the silly thing. Uh, I, I say it's silly, which, which to me it is in a way because I pay for a gym membership and I'm being dictated when I can go to the gym. So what's happened is to, to keep a, a track of the amount of people that are going into the gym, obviously due to the coronavirus, um, you now have to book slots. Um, it's an hour and a half slot that you get, but you have to go in and book a slot for you to go in, to, into the gym. 
And the worst thing is you have to book it 46 hours in advance, which means not only do you have to test your mathematical skills, um, you're also rushing to get a slot where other people are trying to get into them as well. And no word of a lie, you click on the on the book button, you know, on the hour that, or the half an hour that you want to book your slot for, and within seconds, the, the whole slot's fully booked. So it's a bit of a pain. Um, I did have a slot this morning, but I just didn't get up in time. Um, and honestly, I just, I felt rubbish this morning. Um, so I miss, I, I miss the gym. Um, I did try and get in later this afternoon, but it's just not gonna happen. So um, I'm gonna have the day off, uh, unintentional day off. And then tomorrow, I still, I can't get into the gym tomorrow either. Um, so I might end up having to go for a run around the block um, and then get a cup of coffee on the way home. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, just to add um, to my, horrid start this morning um just not feeling particularly good um from a heavy night last night um yeah i i can't get into the gym which always makes me feel better um but never mind hey ho um so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to just pop on a bit of primer um again you've seen this one before um i'm just gonna kind of put that in like so okay and then what I'm gonna do is just go in um I'm not gonna color correct today um again I don't really want to overload my skin considering I'm not going out um I just want to look respectable um more than anything else so yeah I think we might just go in with uh the foundation to be honest with you Am I not, should I go for foundation? No, do you know what? Bugger it, I'm not gonna put foundation on. I'm going to go with my uh, Le Bi Bi Chanel Le Bi Les Biages Eau de Tente, water fresh tint. Um, so again, I've had this one for quite some time. You can see how much I've used. I like this because it gives you a really fresh look um, and feel on your skin. It's super moisturizing. Um, and it does just have a little bit of tint in it um, to give you very, very light coverage. And then what you can do is just go in, go in over the top with your concealer on particular areas where you want a little bit more coverage on it. But I think I'm gonna use this today. Um, I don't have the little brush with me here. I need to go and grab it. But basically you get a little brush. I'm gonna go and show you, just bear with me. Okie dokie, right. Um, so that's the little brush that you get with um, the, um, with this. I'm not gonna try and say the name again. Um, but yeah, so basically you get a little applicator brush. It's so cute, it's so mini and so cute. Um, but yeah, this it, the little package comes together. Um, and like I said before, this is really hydrating. So I just put literally a couple of pumps of that on my back of my hand. It is very watery, so please be careful with it because it does tend to slide around on your hand. Um, but then what I do is I just go in with my little brush, just kind of dab into it. So you've got a little, you can see how it's got that nice sort of like pigment. Yeah, it's got, it's got a bit of color in it. Um, a little Jeffree Star mirror, um, which is starting to fall apart. Um, I have dropped it a few times, but love the color. I think it's so cute. Um, and they're really handy to really get kind of close up to, um, to do your makeup as well. So in here, uh, with this on the on the little brush, I'm just going in around the eye area. Can you see, can you see how it has got quite a bit of um, color to it. Love it. And it just feels really nice when it goes on as well. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna, particularly around the eye area, um, just to help keep them bags at bay. Really, really. And the smell, it just smells amazing as well. I just think that the entire product is stunning. Just such a stunning kind of like tinted moisturizer, but without too much tint. Gorgeous, love it, love it, love it, love a bit of it. Around the nose area, like I said before, I've got quite a few little um, blemishes at the moment, which just, they just annoy me. Um, but it won't pedo about it. There you go, and that's it. So it just gives you a really fresh, I mean, you can see it's not added that much color to me and I don't really want it to. All I'm looking for um, is just to have a fresh, um, dewy, woke up like this kind of look going on, um, which I think it does. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my, concealer very quickly um i'm not going to put the fenty on can't be bothered with her today um 
just going in with my little Mac um, and where you can see I've got these blemishes I am just going in kind of covering them up a little bit maybe just a bit around the nose but that's that's it I, I'm not not go crazy um, I'm take my little beauty blender just kind of get that in Like that you see it's just covering what I needed to cover without overloading the skin love it okay um I think what I'm gonna do is I am gonna put a little bit of bronzer on um just because it makes me feel healthy it gives me a healthy glow um so I'm just gonna go in with that um my brush I really need a bigger bag it drives me crazy uh, I just put a little bit of, again, I'm not kind of overloading the brush um, or the skin. I really just want a nice little glow, healthy glow. Yeah, so that, yeah, that'll do. I am gonna put a little bit of blush on, um, again, just to finish the look off. I'm not gonna put any highlighter on today. Um, I don't think I need it be honest um so i'm going in with my little clinic color pop again um which i love uh i just think the color on this is really cute yeah love it love it love it love it <laughs> and on the nose just to make it look like i've got a bit of color perfect i think that's plenty to be honest with you and now what i'm going to do is i'm actually just going to do my eyebrows i'm not going to put any um mascara on because I can't be bothered trying to get it off later. Um, it's the only thing I don't like about mascara is trying to get the damn thing off. Um, particularly when it's waterproof, it's just, it's so tedious. Um, it's just such a tedious process. Um, okay, so let's put that away. Right, I'm gonna go in with my brow blade again. Um, and uh, this one again is in the brown sugar. I'm just literally going to, you'll have seen I use the Gimme Brow um, to add more um, sort of, meat to my brows um but i'm not going to do that today i'm literally just going to go in with the brow blade and just fill in what i kind of can see needs doing um and darken those ends a little bit more can you see the difference just a little bit darker than this one but without making it look overly obvious yeah i really need to um just tidy these I need to tidy my brows up to be honest with you but again the, t the process is so tedious and I don't really like pain to have them done I always think that you kind of lose the control then when somebody's doing your eyebrows for you um unless you've got a really good you know eyebrow um technician but you know for me it's just like the the the, the one or two ones that need to come out I can do that myself um but yeah that's on my list of things to do this weekend maybe is just to tidy them little hairs up um but we're not doing it today because I can't be bothered. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with the ink and just particularly on those ends, just tidy those ends up like that. Coolio, Julio, too cool for Schoolio. Right, okay, um, I'm gonna put a little bit of lip balm on. Um, I'm gonna go in with my little NARS uh, or orgasmic, orgasm, whatever they're called, uh, again. Love, 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 love. It's so creamy and moisturizing, I love them. I think they're really, these, these are probably one of the best purchases I've ever made in terms of lip glosses. I think that's good. I think we've done a good job there to say that it's a Saturday afternoon, um, well it is now, um, and I'm not going out anywhere today. I can't go to the gym because I can't get in um feeling a bit sorry for myself um after last night which is self-inflicted which is perfectly fine um but yeah i just I'm, I'm not up for kind of going overly strenuous um in my daily activities today um so i am just going to finish my hair off again um i'll show you how i do this with a few sections and then i'll finish it off and then i will give you the final look for today um i will also pick out i am going to be not so much of a slob but i am going to pick out some clothes today to wear i can't really wear my pjs today um i don't want to sit around in my dressing gown so i'm going to put some form of 
clothing on. Um, so I'll show you what the final look looks like. Okay, but let's get the hair sorted um, and then we'll we'll wrap it up. Okay, right, I'll catch you in a minute. Hold on. Okay, um, so we're just gonna finish off the hair now. Um, so my hair is all dried, um, which we did earlier. Um, I'm just gonna go in with the straighteners and kind of mix the texture up a little bit. Um, before I do that, I'm gonna go in with my um, Lee Stafford anti-humidity spray. Absolutely love the stuff, love the smell. It is a little bit sweet, I find, um, kind of candy smelling. Um, so don't go too crazy with it. I mean, it's gorgeous, but it, it is a little bit overpowering, um, but I just like the uh, the way that this product um, protects my hair and it also helps with the humidity here in Singapore. Just, it's great stuff, I, I love it. Um, so I just kind of go in and dust over my hair again and just kind of brush that out. Again, gentle, gentle with your hair. Don't, don't go crazy with it. Um, it doesn't need it. Okay, so. Um, I'm gonna go in with um, my GHDs. These must be antique by now. I have had these for so many years. Um, my dad bought me these when I was still living at home. Um, he actually had to buy me another pair because he stood on them and broke them. Um, so he bought me this pair and I can't, I, these must be, how long have I been here? 11 years, these must be 13 years old. That's how old these are and they are still going strong. Um, I use them maybe three or four times a week, um, depending. Um, I, yeah, I love them. Um, I loved the white color when these first came out. I mean, they've had so many different iterations of the same product, um, but I have never felt the need to upgrade. These just do exactly what I need them to do. Um, I, yeah, I'm in love with them, absolutely love them. I know there's other products out on the market. Um, there's other types of um, straighteners and whatever else, but when I was hairdressing, GHDs were the go-to um, item uh, or tool for hairdressers, and it's just stuck with me ever since. But like I say, I, I just don't see the point in replacing something that works, and I, I love them. Um, so what I'm gonna do today, um, I do tend to either curl or straighten, like pan straight, depending on how I feel, um, but today I'm gonna do a mixture of things. Um, I am gonna curl a little bit, I am gonna straighten a little bit, um, just so that it doesn't look quite so uniform. I do like to kind of make it look more natural. Um, so very similar to when we were blow drying my hair, um, I just take the bottom section and just pin the rest up like so. I'll show you the two different techniques that I do and then um, then we can, uh, then I'll finish it off and I'll show you what, what it looks like when I'm done. So again, just two sections and I bring them around to the front, um, just make sure they're pretty balanced, kind of, that'll do. Um, and then what I do is I take my hair um, straightening tool, my GHD, I take the first section and I just kind of run my fingers through it a little bit just to make sure there's no knots, tuck it in, swing it round, be very careful not to burn your fingers and this creates my curl. Yeah, can you see? Cute, right? Really, really cute. So I'm gonna do the same on this side. Um, so clamp close-ish to the root. Do not burn your scalp. Do not burn your fingers. If you have mitts for uh, using heat, heat tools, please get your mitts on, um, but I, have been doing this long enough that I'm either used to the burn or I don't burn myself um, as much as I used to. Um, but yeah, can you see that just creates like a really cute little curl. Um, the one thing I will say is um, even with the GHDs, I mean, I do find that the curl lasts a little bit longer and then it, okay, so maybe not the right way to put it. With the GHDs, the curls are a lot smoother and they do tend to kind of be, um, a little bit easier to kind of break down um, and have that really natural wavy curly look. With the uh, Dyson Airwrap, I find that the curls are, they hold a lot better, but they're not quite as polished um, because you haven't got the plates flattening the hair shaft um, as well as curling it at the same time. So it's a different technique in, in reality, it's a completely different technique. Um, but for me, because my hair is so frizzy, so curly, um, I just find that the GHDs are a better fit um, in terms of styling my hair. However, I do like the Dyson. I just don't use it as much as I do my straightening irons. Um, personal choice. Um, 
I was a little bit disappointed with the Dyson, to be honest, but I kind of knew what I was expecting. Um, so I can't really fault them. Um, it's just, you've got to know the expectation versus reality. You've got to know what to expect. And I think some people don't really know what to expect. They think it's going to be the all singing, all dancing, you know, hair styling tool. And it's not, it's not designed for that. Um, but yeah, um, so again, just going in with another section, I'm just going to straighten the root bit um, and then curl the end here just to get that nice kind of like smooth curl finish. You see? Cute, right? Love it. Love it. I'm going in with another section. Remember, um, don't take too big a section. Um, if you do, you will find that... Um, the curl is not quite as tight. Um, it's also difficult to kind of keep the hair in between the plates if your sections are too big. But yeah. There you go. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna finish this bit off here. Um, what I might do let me just do this and then I'll show you how I straighten the front bit and then I'll finish it off. Watch your ear. I have done that before people. I have burnt the top of my ear and ouchie, it is so sore and it takes ages to heal as well. Um, because you do find, well, I find that I kept knocking it. Um, the scab was just taking so long to heal um, because I kept knocking it off and it was just, yeah, it's horrific and it's so painful. It is really, really, really painful because your ears are quite sensitive, right, as well. I mean, you know what it's like when you get a piercing and so on, right? So it is quite, yeah, it's quite sensitive. So just be careful. Okay, right, so I'm just gonna show you how I do the straightening at the, um, at the front here. So I'm gonna take another section down. like that. Now I tend to use a comb but I don't know where my comb is at the moment um, so I'm going to use a brush and I'm going to use my little Wella number. Um, I'm just going to show you how I do this. So the front sections I do tend to kind of straighten. So just where the ear is um, I take this front bit um, again just kind of smooth through it with the brush. Might not even need the brush because it's quite straight anyway and go in at the root in at the root, yeah, then take the brush, just to help guide the plates along the hair, right, and smooth down, yeah, so you can see, it's just got that nice kind of like smooth, I, I do tend to do the roots, so they, they do kind of have a bit of lift in them, I don't like it pan straight to my face, I do like a bit of volume in my hair, um, I'm just going to do the same on this side, just brush through it, I'm going to just straighten that top bit of the section, then the underneath, yeah, without going crazy. Brush through, just to guide the plate and the hair, like so, yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to finish my hair up um, on my own now, just to kind of get through this. I'll show you what the end result looks like, um, and throw some clothes on, um, and then we will finish up. Okay, right, see you in a bit. Okay, hi guys. Um, so I just finished off my hair. Um, so I've just, um, I've, the, the ringlets were of course, you know, tighter than this. I've just run my fingers through to make it look a bit more natural. Um, I have just put some hairspray and, and stuff in to kind of tame. I mean, I've still got a few flyaways going on, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, this is this is basically the, the end result um, after, you know, going through the process of, of uh, blow drying and uh, straightening, well, curling with the straighteners. Um, I have just thrown some clothes on as well. I've literally got, um, an oversized t-shirt, um, my cycling shorts that I picked up from H&M um, about a month ago. Um, just really comfy, not tight around the legs or anything. Um, they're just really, yeah, comfortable for sitting around the house in. Um, I have got um, a few things I need to do today um, around the house. Uh, so washing up, um, laundry and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to kind of get cracking with that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's a really gorgeous day outside. It's just a shame I'm not really feeling 
uh, on top form and I just I can't get into the gym I've just tried again and I still can't get in um, so yeah it is what it is um, but thanks very much for um, clicking on the video uh, again I hope you like uh, watching um, if there is anything particular that you want me to review if you want me to do a review of the Erison um, Erison the Dyson Air Wrap, then do let me know. Um, and obviously that's something that I can look at doing for you. Um, all of the products that I've used, like from Olaplex, I will put in uh, the description. So if you're keen to have a read up and see if it's something that uh, you know you might want to invest in, um, then do take a look at that as well. Um, I will put a link down for the GHDs. Um, they do not make the model that I have anymore. Um, like I said, I've had mine for absolutely donkey's years, um, but they do have other, uh, variations of the same thing. Um, so go and take a look at that as well if you're keen. Um, and obviously if there is anything specific that you want to know uh, product-wise that I've used today, um, then drop me a comment and I'll, um, I'll send you the details as well. Okay. All right. Thanks everybody. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.